but since I met y'all, it's probably been like six years. You know? To say, uh, break, break generational curses. Quit yelling at your kids before they go to bed and expect them to sleep well. Quit yelling at your kids in the morning right after they wake up for school and expect them to have a good day. You set the tone for your children. You set the tone for... You set the tone for your voice. They will always remember in their heads. You become the inner voice. Don't be the inner critic. Speak life. Speak love. Speak bravery. Kindness and hope. Speak wisdom and truth. Most of all, listen to your children. I never had none of that. I get that to mine. And that's my number one priority. That's, I follow that. That's how I break it. And, um... You know, so, and I do it, I live it. I live it. <laughs> now, like I said, that was uh, former NFL player Des Bryant. Uh, Brian, he was on the uh, the Povet uh, podcast with uh, my three brothers. Uh, I forgot their names. Uh, uh, Fred, uh, it was, there's former players. It's, it's not bringing my tips up in my head, but. Make sure you subscribe to the, the, the Povet. You know, they, they're really, 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 really good podcasts. You know, not just talking about, like, the NFL, but to talk about life in general and everything. But, yeah, man, shout out to Des Bryant, yo, because, you know, I read some stuff about his, his you know, his childhood, about his mother and everything, and it was it was not good. So it's good seeing a strong brother like him. It's, it's trying to break a generational curse, and, you know, and it's breaking and then, you know, passing and then not passing on to the kids and then trying to be a good parent. Um, I feel like, you know, I feel like we, you know, Ronnie or Hakeem, maybe not us, but we probably know somebody that's, you know, in a generation of curse or I don't know if you guys are generation of curses or you, or you guys break some type of generation of curses everywhere or know someone that's maybe this in our family, friends or whatever, it's in generation of curses. Uh, shout out to Barry White. You see Barry White. Shout out to you, Barry White. Shout out to you. So, yeah, man. So we definitely going to talk about it. Uh, so I'm going to pass it to you guys. Um, that's it too, Ronnie. So what's your take about uh, generational curses? It could be talking about a friend, yourself, or in the community. So what's your take about generational curses? Yeah, um, like always, um, today is, um, remember, it's, um, it's, it's, it's panel Wednesday, so you guys could join the panel and you can also join in the conversation. Well, Jay Prince, man, shout out to you for being here, man. It's great to have you, man. Great pleasure to have you um, over here on this side, man. Great to see you, and Jay Prince, you can you can time in on the uh, on the panel too as well because um you, um you want some, someone who I do admire when you actually trying to break generational curses because now you actually own your own personal business, so that's one form of bringing generational curses, and you're doing stuff for your for your children. So I commend you for that. I think you're doing I think you're doing God's work. So generational curses takes a very um uh, I'm a I'm a strong believer of breaking generational curses because. You know, growing up with someone that even though I have my father in my life, we pretty much didn't have much. So I always saying that growing up, that Jay Prince for president is in the Join building. Up, What's going man. on, Good big to see dog? you, brother. Good to see you, man. What's going on, big dog? <laughs> what up, good? What up, y'all? Thanks for having me. Oh, no what up, problem, man. man. Thanks for coming by, man. We appreciate it. We appreciate oh, yeah. It's yeah. yeah, it's an honor and pleasure be, uh, for you to be over here, big dog. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know I'd come rock with the gov. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can leave, you can keep your lights off. You don't want, you don't want to get you car. Uh, you don't want to get you incriminated. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what Jay Prince doing over here? Yeah, no, but yeah. So I think generational curses is something that I think every, especially every black man, and he wants to try to do is to break mm. that curse for your generational lineage because you know some of us grew up what grew up rough. And grow up tough and want to keep that same pattern for the next generation so the only way you can break it is by doing the work that you never did before so that being said so hakeem go ahead the floor is yours before we allow and the jordan before we allow jay prince to talk go ahead. so speaking for a lot of people who can resonate with this a lot of us grew up in poverty we can't help that. But what we can help is the next generation. And doing a lot of studying and, and understanding that you got to think four or five generations beyond. 
we understand we come from a traumatic situation and understanding that lets you know that what you want, you're going to want for your kids and what you've been through. You ain't going to want them to go through. This is why we move out of, when we get a little money, we move out of bad neighborhoods, We put our kids in good schools. We try to expose them to different things. So I do think that it's not being bougie or selling out. It's trying to do better to help them understand that there's more to life. And, and, and it starts with a mindset first, then financial. Uh, personally, for me, um, I, I would say this, um, me, you know, coming from a single parent household and being in, in, in the situation in the city where you see a lot of, you know, things going on, you know, going on with your, with your friends or family and to see, you know, stuff that, you know, you, you, you usually see when you're living in the hood, but, you, but when you move somewhere else, like in the suburbs or anything, you'll, you'll see something different. Or, you know, go to a public school and you might see something that might be different than go to a, a uh, private school or a charter school, which I've been in, been in all three three of and everything. Um, generational curse, curses, I feel like, you know, here in 2024, I feel like, you know, millennials and generations, generation Z's, they really kind of pushing, pushing, talk about a little bit more, you know, especially about, you know, us trying to heal and everything. Uh, really focus on our mentals and everything and not try to really uh, try to work on ourselves and try to be the best person on ourselves and not really passing on to our kids and everything. Uh, I know for me, you know, I know, you know, my mom told me about some of the things about on her side and also on my father's side about, you know, I, I have broken some generational curses and everything, you know, not, you know, um, you know, stay in that one spot, you know, moving around, you know, not being on drugs. Um, and, you know, and it's also just hanging around, hanging around the right people that I'm cool with. I could be cool with and everything. Um, yeah, man, I just feel like, you know, you know, just start breaking the generational curses and, and make sure uh, everybody else know if you see uh, your parent, um, maybe a, a grandfather, Anything that you know you, you you see that you live that that you see that you that you don't see, and you know when you grow up because the stuff you might see in your, in your like I say your, your kids and your teens or maybe in your twenties you know you might not realize it well but then you, you start to hit you when you maybe hit your thirties and your forties and you know just really doing a, a self reflect with yourself of uh, what you see what you see, what you do, or what your parents do, or what your grandparents do and everything. And I feel like, you know, um, really, I think people are, are really, <clears throat> people are really trying to start, uh, self reflect on themselves and everything, and try to really build, start, and try to be the, uh, the best person on themselves. And I really, I really feel that and everything because um, I know in my family, for sure, you know, we really try to poke things out and we try to, you know, really try to uh, help one another about anything that they, uh, as a parent did, or auntie or uncle did, or a grandmother or grandfather had done as well. So, and I feel like, you know, us, us as in our community, we, can, we need to keep pushing it out there to try to help people that have generational curses and try to, you know, try to break it, as, try to break it and try to help as best ways we can. Uh, because, like I said, when I was from, I, I, I see a lot of stuff that, you know, a lot of people, you know, continue to do what they do. You know, I, I, some friends that I had, I had to cut off who has a generation of curses and looking maybe on Instagram or Facebook or, you know, where I go back home to Pontiac and talk to a, a couple of people say, hey, how this person do this? No, same old stuff, same old stuff and everything. And, you know, some people, they don't have the opportunity to, um, or just maybe have the mindset of look, just look have a self reflection, a self reflection of themselves because they so used to seeing it in uh, where they, the city they living in, or also what they see in the household and everything. So, like I said, I think it's very important to um, more people to do a self reflection on themselves. This, 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 this look, just like look around your surroundings of what what you're doing, or, or how you're growing and everything. 